hi guys thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you'll enjoy watching this video so today i'm going to be talking about my weight loss because i received a lot of questions about that and you can probably see that even my pictures on social media and instagram and videos on youtube you can see probably a big difference before and after so i just want to talk about it a little bit so uh, within the past four or five months i lost about 30 pounds and i I'm still away from my goal weight um, I will throw some numbers out there I think you might get scared when you hear them but anyway when I came to America um, you know that my height is very short I'm very short stature about four feet uh, four inches tall and I came to America I was 76 uh, pounds and that was like my average weight um, and then when I was pregnant with twins and I had preeclampsia, preeclampsia is the condition when uh, you gain a lot of water weight. Um, so my weight was about 145, so I almost doubled my weight. And I lost majority of this uh, weight right after pregnancy, but I lost majority, but not all of this weight. I was about 115, I would say. Um, 120 and this was like I felt very heavy um, maybe I didn't look as heavy but I definitely felt very heavy and it was very um, uncomfortable I was trying to find uh, the diet that would work for me and nothing really worked because I was just um, busy with the kids and I was not able to like milk prep properly and things like that so anyway I decided that I need to lose weight when me and my husband we sat down and we talked and we decided that um, probably we will not uh, have any more kids uh, anytime soon so I felt like this was like a, a breaking point for me I felt like well I might go ahead and get my body back because this is not the way that I want to feel for the rest of my life and around Christmas or so I got sick um, and I didn't have much appetite. I had like fever and flu and whatever, whatnot. So I um, didn't have much appetite and I lost about five pounds just within a couple of days just because I was eating vegetable soup and, you know, didn't move a lot, didn't eat a lot and that's it. So after that, I felt like I kind of believed that I might lose some weight in the future because before that trying all different diets and it just didn't work I thought that maybe my metabolism is not fast or I don't know what was happening so anyway so I decided that I'm going to try different uh, meal pl uh, plans um, and I'm going to become like vegetarian or vegan for um, you know weight loss purposes or anything like that but I just wanted to start eating right I started doing the portion control first of all because that's very important and I started counting calories because I remember um, that for my stature to lose weight I need to be under thousand calories a day I know it's a very low calorie diet for majority of people but like I said I'm 4'4 uh, tall and for me if I eat about 1200 calories a day, this is like I keeping my weight, I don't lose weight. So if I'm eating about 1000 to 1200, that's when I'm losing weight. And that's what I started uh, doing. And I also limited amount of snacks that I was doing in between meals. I feel like snacks usually don't work very well for me. So I just try to um, use fruits or vegetables as my snacks. So I started meal prepping and I'm doing um, three times a day uh, meal prep, breakfast, lunch and dinner and I do snacks in between as a fruit like orange or um, watermelon or cantaloupe or apple between the meals if I feel hungry or sometimes if I have like a sweet uh, cravings I have some fruit uh, right after the meal so um this kind of helped me to um lose a lot of weight and um right after this video right after this long intro i'll probably show you a sample of what i eat in a day let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this but like i said i just try to limit amount of calories that i consume and 
I'm trying to do high protein, low carbs diet. I don't mind carbs that come from like healthy sources, for example, like um, vegetables have carbs, they just don't have as much carbs as like, for example, bread. I'm trying to stay away from bread uh, as much as I can. I eat a little bit of like tortillas once in a while, um, but I just have to be mindful about this. And I don't eat as much potatoes, I still eat them, but in a much smaller amount that I used to. And I try not to eat as much um, um, rice because I know that's what usually, um, I don't know, I feel like after eating rice and all this, I just feel very swollen and heavy and I don't like that feeling. So, so these three things, the potatoes, bread and rice, I try to limit to minimum. Um, but yeah, I get my carbs from vegetables and fruits. I get, I eat a lot of fruits and I know it has sugars, but I don't mind natural sugars. And I also limit the amount of refined sugar. I never drink sodas. I drink diet sodas very rarely, but I just not a big soda person and I don't eat fried food. So that's, that's basically um, how I'm losing weight lately. And I feel like it's been working for me pretty good and I started going to the gym. That's like another thing. Um, you need to find a gym that would work for you because I've been a gym member for a very long time, different kind of gyms and I did not feel comfortable going there and it was procrastinating and it just didn't work for me. So I found a gym, it's called Total Woman and I started going there. I, um, I did actually they had like really expensive memberships i think it was like 60 or 70 dollars uh, a month without contract so i printed out the coupon that you can do like a free day trial and i went there and the day when i went there they actually had a sale it was 20 dollar membership uh for people that sign up that day so i really lacked out on this and because i got this membership i feel like i was able to finally start going to the gym again because I was not able to find a gym that I would like like for for past couple of years since we moved from another area and they had um, I think I used to go to 24 hour fitness and that was like a super gym with the pool and everything it was nice and brand new and I really liked it and then we moved to this area and this 24 hour fitness was kind of old and the pool wasn't great so I discontinued that membership so with with me going to the women only gym i feel like it gives me the opportunity not to worry about if i have my makeup done or hair done or how i look or why are people staring at me i feel like everybody go there do their own thing and don't worry about other people staring or anything like that and i even uh, was able to try a few classes there which i never tried before and i felt really good about that and also another thing, I never was able to find time to work out. So now I feel like I make this time. So I wake up around 5.30 in the morning and I go to the gym. I drink a cup of um, hot lemon water on the way to the gym. First of all, it's kind of chilly to, uh, in the morning. So I wake up and I drink this hot cup of water to warm up. So I go to the gym, I work out for about, my works out. My workouts are pretty short, about an hour, hour, 15 minutes, and then I drive back home and then I feed kids uh, breakfast and you know start my day. So this is like the main points that I wanted to share with you. So first of all, I started waking up at 5.30 to be more productive and to make sure that I'll fit um, worked out in my schedule. And I work out about five days a week. The other two days, my husband works early in the morning, so I'm not able to leave the house because, I, you know, I'm the only one watching the kids. So, um, yeah, like I said, I wake up at 5.30. I work out five days a week. I have uh, three times a day uh, meal prepared. I do meal preps uh, two times a week, which is Sunday and um, Friday. So on Sunday, I prepare four meals from Monday to Thursday. And on Friday, I prepare, uh, I prepare uh, for, uh, Friday to Sunday. This way, I can have like a fresh meals all the time and I can switch it up so I don't get bored. And I saw different uh, ways that people do it. People prepare ingredients and mix and match. That never really worked for me because my 
brain doesn't work like that on the spot. I want to know that there is a container that's like, it has meal that I already fought through and, you know, prepared and all this. I don't like mixing and matching. It's a little bit too complicated to me. But yeah, let me know if you have any other questions or you uh, want me to go over something in details. Yeah, please feel free to comment down below. But right now I'm just going to switch it up. I'm going to show you what I eat on a daily basis. So yeah, stay tuned.